Welcome to Point Blank, brought to you by Fitz Roofing. I'm Brandon Strange, and I'm joined by ESPN Houston's Joel Blank of the Press Box. Joel, welcome in. Last week on ESPN's Jalen and Jacoby, Jalen Rose proposed that new Sixers president of basketball ops, Daryl Morey, should trade Joel Embiid to Houston for, wait for it, Russell Westbrook, and possibly P.J. Tucker. And as much as fans have really bought into the effort level of both those guys, I don't think the fans or the team would have a problem with that deal at all. If if that's the original deal, Brandon, and not giving up James Harden as part of it, I think fans should be ecstatic about that. Yeah. Well, okay, well, so is this just Jalen trying to throw around names to make a splashier soundbite, or is this actual a possibility? Well, I don't know that it's actual possibility because we never know what's up Daryl Morey's sleeve. We do know, thanks to the ad in the Chronicle, that James Harden changed his life. So I don't know that you won't think about trading for the life changer as opposed to Russell Westbrook. But if you would, and from a Steven Silas perspective, from a Rockets perspective, if you could keep your, no argue about it, if you could keep your best player in James Harden and you could get a big man back in the mix that has a very offensive mind, that can shoot the three and shoot it at a good percentage, can shoot face-up jump shots and still go on the low post and be better than just about any center in the game, the Rockets are increasingly better if that move could be made. From a Philly perspective, I don't know if they get better. I mean, Ben Simmons is as challenging to play with or more challenging than Russell Westbrook because he shoots it maybe worse than Russ, from three especially, and I don't know what the benefit it would be benefit is for Daryl because he's only known Russell for a year. As long as you don't have to give up Harden, if you could add a Joel Embiid and get the one missing piece on your roster right now so you don't have to play small ball and get a big man, I think it's a huge win for the Houston Rockets. I want to ask you about the similarities between these two teams and why a deal may or may not make sense. But before I do that, why don't you give us a word from our video sponsor at Fitz Roofing? We love the people at Fitz Roofing. Look, they're dedicated to the people of Houston and they're dedicated to Sports Map, ESPN 97.5. But Corey and his staff do fantastic work because one, they give you a free no obligation inspection just by picking up the phone. You call them, they come to you, they tell you what they can do. Whether it's a repair or a whole new roof for your business or your home, they're going to take care of you every step of the way. Best ratings, best Best reviews, best warranties, best products. It's Fitz Roofing making a difference one home at a time. Joel, both teams, both the Sixers and the Rockets, they're pretty desperate to make some changes with these rosters. And they're kind of similarly situated in that they both need to work, rework their roster, but have to do so without the benefit of meaningful draft capital. So does that, combine with the familiarity of Daryl Morey being involved, does that make the Sixers more of a logical trade partner with the Rockets? And if I'm Tillman Fertitta, Do I trust new GM Raphael Stone to not get fleeced by a very shrewd and savvy Daryl Morey? If you're smart, no, because Raphael Stone is exhibit A for who's going to get fleeced in the NBA. Uh, He has no background or experience to be a general manager in this league, and Daryl knows it. And Daryl, just like he used to fleece the Sacramento Kings for years and found a trade partner every single time when it came to making any kind of move in Sacramento, he's going to look right back to his former home and say, hey, I know this guy, and I know what he knows and what he doesn't know, and if there's a way that I can do what I need to do to make my team better, I don't care what the Rockets end up with as long as I become better in the process. Look, Daryl's got an easier road because the team he inherits doesn't have nearly the cap constraints that the Rockets do. They've got a world-class head coach in Doc Rivers, and they still are going to have some draft picks to deal with after Daryl basically traded away every single pick the Rockets could possibly have. So I think from the standpoint of Daryl looking at the Rockets, he'd love to make a deal. I think from Tillman's perspective, I'd be more than a little leery about making any kind of movement with the 76ers. Are we making too much out of Daryl going to Philly and being like this domino that leads to a trade between these two teams? The Sixers have a GM in Elton Brand. Is there any reason to think that Daryl's going to be making those type of personnel decisions? I think they're, you brought in Daryl Morey for a reason. He's savvy with the cap, but he knows the league, and he's notorious for making trades all the time. He made a trade on almost every draft day. He led the league in trades, I think, next to Philadelphia overall over the last several years. And there's no reason to believe that he's not going to collaborate with Elton Brand, but he's going to make more moves and he's going to try and make his team better. I think that's the reason why, because he knows the roster here. He knows who can play, who can't, and the pieces that they, what they bring to the table in terms of pieces that can help complement his players. He'll do whatever he can to get guys that he brought in or that he likes a lot. I think the bigger question, Brandon, becomes, would you trade Eric Gordon 
important for a piece like Al Horford because I think that as inconsistent as Eric Gordon has been for the Rockets and how expensive he is, and you could move him to get a guy like uh, Al Horford who is only a year or two removed from being a very valuable big man piece for the Celtics and give your new coach at least another way to play. A big man that can guard in the low post, he can shoot the three, and he can do some things offensively that can help you from a guy that, from a perspective of Eric Gordon, I think he's run his course here in Houston, and the Rockets fans think he's overpaid for what he brings to the table. I think that that was a trade. That's a trade that makes sense for both teams, and I don't think either team feels like they got fleeced in the process. That's one I would look at and say I would consider that either side.